the most common sites of complaints are the face. So patients are very often concerned about their skin. They might be concerned that they have acne or scarring of the skin. Very often they worry that their skin is um, too pale or too red. They might be worried about moles. Hair concerns are also very common in patients with BDD. They might be worried that their hair is balding or that the hairline is receding. Nose concerns are very common. The patients might be concerned that the nose is too long or that it is bumpy. So pretty much any body part can be the focus of concern. And on average, I would say patients have about three to four body parts that they may be preoccupied with. And it can even change over time. So one week, a patient might come in and might be worried about their nose, for example. And the next week, they come back, and now they have a concern with their hair. They often ask friends or family members for reassurance about their appearance. So they might ask, do I look all right? Do you notice anything unusual about my appearance? What's also very common is that patients seek the help of dermatologists or plastic surgeons. Serotonin, which is a chemical in the brain, might be involved in the development of BDD. And of course, sociocultural factors might also play a role. Um, it's not surprising that we are all a little bit more concerned about our body image because we are all exposed by messages from the media that appearance is very important and that we should all try to improve it. And perhaps BDD patients are just a little bit more vulnerable to these kind of messages.